Hello and welcome to another Scardcast Battle Report. Today, the forces of Nurgle and Death Guard assail the Drukhari, or is it the other way around? We play a new Maelstrom of War mission from Chapter Approved 2018, and there's no Vect to be seen. Let's begin. The Dark Kin. Hello and welcome to another Scardcast Battle Report. Today, you're facing Shane and me. You've seen him before on the channel with his Chaos Nurgly goodness. And today, you brought uh, Chaos and Nurgly goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Death Guard and Nurgle Demons. Hmm. You're, uh, you've actually got a painted Leviathan Dreadnought this time. I do. Yeah. Only he kills a, a lot. Oh, yeah, Six months? Like, eight months? I think it was like eight months. <laughs> yeah. Hey, at least it's done now. And it looks amazing. Yes. I'll try to take some closer pictures of it so you guys can take a look. So, we are playing Scars of Battle. Maelstrom of War mission. Yeah, first time playing. First time playing any of the new chapter proof stuff. Yes. Same here. Um, it's kind of taking the internet by storm because of the deployment changes. Yeah, they're. I, I like them, to be honest. Yeah, it's going to be, you get to remove six cards before the game starts. Yep. Uh, in this mission, though, before, in the start of the first battle round, we, we were each roll a dice, and if we roll a one, then we can't score objectives 11 through 16. If yeah, we yeah, roll yeah. a two, we can't score objectives 21 through 26, 26, which means that you could have a whole set of cards just poof. Yeah, the ones that you favor your army to. Yeah, but at least we get to remove six before the game starts. Yep. Although that happens before you see which ones you can <laughs> or cannot. Yeah, so. Whoopsie, so we'll see. Hopefully, uh, you know, we'll see. I, I hope all the defense go away because I don't like having to defend objectives. No, I don't, neither does <laughs> the Death Guard. Probably. Yeah, <laughs> especially your list because it's more mobile and, yes. and to get in people's faces. Okay, so uh, I'm playing a Drukhari list. We'll go over the armies in a second. But um, do you have any like main strategies going into this? Um, yeah, somewhat. Yeah, somewhat. <laughs> let's not spoil them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so let's mind our blabbering and get on to the armies and who will be facing off. But thanks a lot for tuning in, and I hope you enjoy the battle report. And here we have six, 1,750 points of Drukhari. So I have one battalion. One Vanguard and one Outrider detachment. So we'll start with the Vanguard detachment. It's a Prophets of Flesh Homunculus Coven detachment with a Homunculus with a Stinger Pistol. Four of his constructs, Grotesques. Five Incubi. One is a Clavex. And ten Shadowy Mandrakes as well. Then we move on to the Battalion. It's a Poison Tongue Battalion, led by Archon Skari, with a Venom Blade. We've got Drazar, the Master of Blades, who's tagged along for the Real Space Raid. Three units of five Cablite Warriors. You can see that I'm using the new squad markings that I got from squad markings. Make sure you check the link in the description. They're pretty awesome and really easy to see and super customizable. Two Venoms with double cannon. One Raider with a Disintegrator Cannon, one Ravager with three Disintegrator Cannons, and a Void Raven Bomber with two Lances. And then we have the Outrider Detachment led by a Red Grief Succubus, so it is a Red Grief Detachment. Ten Scourge with four Haywire Blasters. Nine Reaver Jet Bikes with three Blasters and three Grav Talons, and five Helions to round it off. And that is 1750 points. So let me know down below what you like about this Drukhari army. As you can tell, it's a bit of everything, and it's one of my favorite ways to play with the Dark Kin. And here we have 1750 points of. Nurgly goodness. Shane, take it away, my friend. Okay, so let's start with the Demons Battalion. Cool. So I have uh, three Nurgling squads. Poop monsters! Troops. Yeah, fun and squishy. 
And then leading them is two pox bringers. Yeah. So one has uh, fleshy abundance, the other one has shriveling pox. Cool. And then I have a death guard battalion. Yeah. So I got three units of slaves, aka cultists, <laughs> all auto guns. Yeah. And then going to the HQ, I have a demon prince of Nurgle. Which I, is the death guard. Is variant. he Nurgle? I can't tell. Uh, I don't know. He's green and mean. <laughs> and then there's a plain Jane Chaos Lord. Yeah. With a chain axe. Mm-hmm. And then going to the heavy support, you got two plague brisk crawlers with dual flamers, so this plague spitters. Mm-hmm. And a Leviathan Chaos Dreadnought. I love what you did with this guy, by the way. He's got the two Nurglings on the base, all the weathering, got a little Nurgling hand off from the side there. <laughs> Looks really cool. Thank you. And then we have three folded blood drones with dual spiders as well. Okie dokie. Little did you know, uh, you can only use zero of those today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's 1,750 points of Nurgle. Uh, so demons and death guard. So leave a comment down below and let us know which unit you prefer out of all of these cool units. I actually like Nurglings. They're probably one of the most efficient game-winning units in the game. Yeah, they're they're handy to have. They're really handy. Okay, let's move on to deployment. Let's begin with setup and deployment. Now, something that's different in this mission is we played with the chapter-approved 2018 way of deploying for the Maelstrom mission. So you roll off a table sides, and the winner chooses their deployment zone. Then the loser deploys their entire army first, then another opponent places their whole army, and then the person who deployed first chooses if they want to go first or second, which really adds a whole other tactical element to deployment. Okay, we're back here after deployments, and it's, I really like the new deployment style. Of I got to... Uh, Shane picked his deployment zone, so I was able to deploy first, and then I get to choose who goes first or second. I would like to go first, so Shane is going to get an opportunity to seize the initiative. Now, before the game starts, we got to remove six cards from our decks. So I removed Advance, because I don't want to have to get out of my deployment zone. Trophy Hunter, which makes my opponent pick a character and objective. So anything that's in the power of my opponent in a game, I want to remove that. Fear and Terror and Psychological Warfare, which are two of the, well, one's a Dark Eldar card, one isn't, but forcing morale tests on Death Guard and Nurgle, very hard to do. Master of the Warp, because I don't have any Psychers, and Pain in All Its Forms, which forces me to kill one enemy unit in the shooting and then in the fight phase, and it's actually just, it's really hard to get points out of this card. Even though it's worth a lot, it's just super hard to get points. And then Shane, took out a couple of cards as well. Yep, so I took out Spread Contagion. Uh, that one I have to keep all game, uh, which probably won't be beneficial when I'm trying to actually score points. Yeah. And then I got Area Denial. So because of Riven's speed of his army, I don't think I'll be able to keep him out of the middle. Um, I could be wrong, but it's one of the cards that was the, one of the lesser ones. Psychological Warfare. So, like he said, trying to get his small squads to fail morale. Um, I'm probably just going to delete them rather than knock a few down, especially the ones I'm trying to kill off right away. Uh, advance. So, I want to not necessarily push out of my zone because we're playing Hammer and Anvil, so I don't want to get too close to him where he has good close combat, but his range is also a little bit shorter. The ones that can hurt me anyways, the high wire and stuff like that. Uh, domination, I'm probably not going to hold every objective. Um, yeah, I'm not... It's an odd one to get, <laughs> for sure. Exactly. And then Witch Hunter, he has no psychers. Okay, perfect. So, in deployment, um, I deployed Vastly, uh, Venom with five Cabali Warriors, four Grotesques with my Hemonculus, uh, five uh, Helions back here with plus two inches of movement, a Void Raven Bomber in the background. We have nine Reva Jet Bikes with plus one attack drug. And then I have five Incubi, um, the Succubus, my Archon, and um, Drazar, the Master Blades, in the really cool converted Raider by Kyle. And then I have five more Cabalai Warriors inside that building there. They're hiding. And then in reserve, I have... Um, I actually have to put my on my Ravager. I guess I spent a command point to Deep Strike him, because I forgot to deploy him. <laughs> so my Ravager is Deep Striking. Because oh, no. I forgot to put him down. 
And then I have my Scourge uh, in reserve and my Mandrakes in reserve as well. Okay, so uh, Shane deployed Nurglings over there. Nurglings over there. Uh, a block of poison stuff, and by poison I mean bile and defecants. Yep. <laughs> um, cultists, more Nurglings, cultists in the back, and Mr. Leviathan Dreadnought hiding from the long range firepower. Ready to just delete anything that comes within 42 inches of him. <laughs> or much. 44 inches of him. Because yeah. <laughs> he is Death Guard, so he ignores the penalties from moving and shooting. Okay, so I do want to go first, Shane. Uh, yeah, you can have first turn. You're going to let me go first. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So, at the start of the first battle round in this mission, yeah. we roll a d6. And... We get to remove those cards from our decks, essentially. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so because it's, uh, we've been fighting for a long time, we're all like depleted and stuff. So I get to remove 11 to 16 out of my deck, and you get to remove 2 to 26. So the we each lose an entire round of hold objective 1 through 6. I lose the 1s, he loses the 2s. Okay, so we'll uh, do that, and then I'm going to be diving in to my first turn. So uh, he lost all his secure 1 through 6s. Now because he has a Nurgle deck, he doesn't have any secures. He only has defends, and then he has a bunch of kill stuff for Nurgle things. So it's going to be very interesting. Um, I lost all my Dark Eldar cards, so I still have one of each secure, one of each defend, and then all the other cards. And I had already removed three of the Dark Eldar cards, so I only lost three cards. <laughs> but it would have been cool to lose all those, and then have taken six other cards out of my deck that were going to be hard for me to get anyway. So, at the start of the turn, I draw three cards. First one, Defend Objective 3, which happens to be by some Nurglings back there. Okay, that's going to be a little tougher. Domination. Great fun. <laughs> <laughs> and kill a character with assassinate. Wow, so they, uh, the, uh, the, the dark kitten has really decided to make this interesting for me. Okay, on to turn one. Move. The Nurgle decided to go for cover save on their entire army. And because I'd forgotten to deploy my Ravager, I didn't really have the firepower that I was hoping for. My only hope was to try and get first blood and kill one of those blow drones early on in the game. Okay, let's get ready to rumble! Um, so, uh, turn one, I kind of shuffled this Venom here. They stayed back here. The, our, the Cabalites in there stayed. Uh, Void Raven moved up. Archon got out to give the reroll ones to hit bubble. Um, the jet bikes have 18 inch moves, so they moved up really, really fast. And uh, now we get to do some shooting. And then that, that raider is still full of like people. So <laughs> peoples. 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 Uh, by peoples, I mean incubi and a bunch of stuff. So my target priority right now is to try and kill this um, thing. Lonely drone. This lonely drone. I have to try. Floated blow drones. Float, yeah, that's the only thing I can do. Okay, so first things first, he's going to, uh, this Venom's going to shoot into these nerf things. Boo boo boo! So I need three to hit. Oh no. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Fell down again. He's dead. Uh, so, two hits. And I need four to wound, rerolling once because of poison tongue. Hooray! Two saves, my friend. One goes through, but they uh, have feeling pain against. <sighs> well, yeah, they love the poison. <laughs> they love it. Love poison? How can Nurglings get poisoned? That doesn't make any sense. All right, so we'll start with the stuff that really matters here. We'll do uh, the jet bikes firing into the blood drum. So three blasters, and then as many of these can see the Nurglings, we'll shoot in the Nurglings. So we'll do the blasters first, needing threes to hit. Hooray! And their strength eight, so needing threes to wound. Oh no! That's only one that gets through. I have 11 CPs. So you know what? I'm gonna spend one to reroll one. Yep. Cool. Come boom! Nope. Of course, it's uh, meant to happen, so I go down to 10 CPs. One invulnerable save. Yep. Nope. It goes through. Uh, D6 damage. Oh, come on! <laughs> Uh, nope, just oh, bounces yeah. right off. That's Bing. a five. It's <laughs> about right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then over here I've got a few that are going to be able to shoot them. So one, two, three, and uh, so six of these little shots over here. Pa pow! 
Two. Three hit and four suit. Aha! Two saves, my friends, on the Nurglings. Uh, one goes through. Ooh, will it really go through? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Disgustingly resilient. Okay, I'm spending one command point to fire and fade them, however, so they're gonna move back seven inches. Move back, and now the last chance that I have at doing anything is the Void Raven firing at the same drone here. Two shots. Pa pow! Ha! That's right. Needing threes to wound with the super strength nine lances. One gets through. Pretty standard stuff. That's about right. Yep. For lances. Nope. Bounces right off. <laughs> And then the last one I have is this disintegrator cannon. I'm just going to shoot with that Nurgling. No. Yes. Threes to hit. And two uh, toughness? Three? Toughness, two. Two. Twos to wound. Uh, two saves, my friend. Yep. Five up. And they're two damage each. Amazing one. He just takes two. Yep. Ah. Uh, so you have how many? Uh, four. Oh, no. Only half. Well, I killed half a Nurgling. Oh, wait. I still have one Venom. <laughs> Let's see if the... I don't think the, the guys inside are in range, but the Venom certainly is. So we'll shoot that one Venom. <laughs> I can reroll one thanks to my Archon. Yeah, there was a plan there. All along. Uh, four is rolling ones thanks to... Nope, doesn't matter. Two! <laughs> oh! No! no. no. <laughs> and then I have five Cabalite Warriors in there that are just in range of that Nurgling over here. Threes, they're not. Oh, haha, -ha, they actually hit. And fours are rolling ones because they're poison tongue. Oh, four saves. Oh, three, feel no pains. I might kill a Nurgling. Oh, <gasps> I killed a Nurgling. Killed one. Victory. No. <laughs> What's, monsters. What is their leadership, my friends? Seven? Okay, so they can't even fail. Okay. <laughs> no failing for them. Okay, so with that, the Dark Eldar do nothing on their first turn. And I will indeed discard um, a, a Defend Objective 3, because there's no point. Like, it's very hard for me to get that right now, because there's so many flamers nearby, it's going to be nigh impossible. Okay, moving on to Nurgle, turn one. So Defend Objective 3. Uh, Master the Warp, which should be quite easy to get actually, and then Death Beggett's Life, so if he keeps this in play, every um, in every turn, so every player turn, if he kills seven models, he gets a point for every seven models he kills. Yeah. That's actually really cool. Um, so it's really handy if you have like a, a hand with like six or six cards, and this is one of the cards. It just sits there and gives you points when you're playing like a horde especially. Yeah. Okay, moving on to turn one. Death Guard turn one, Shane decided to move very conservatively, which is a good thing when faced against an army like the Dark Eldar that are very fast, can outmaneuver you. He kept most of his strength together, but moved towards the center of the board to then put pressure on any of the, the objectives nearby, especially using his Flamer Bloat Drones as sort of linebackers, forcing me to act. Okay, after turn one, we had the core of Nurgle just kind of run up here. He got Defend Objective 3, so he's got his Obsec Nurglings here essentially holding it. The Leviathan Dreadnought just kind of peeked around the corner, looking at these jet bikes ready to murder them all. And uh, they stayed still so they can shoot some stuff. And he's basically moved up to try and do some damage on that raider as well. So, with that in mind, Psychic Phase. Yes. So, the Demon Prince... He is going to cast minus one to hit on the first blood drum. Okay. So I need a six. Goes off. Goes off. With an 11. Yes. So there my, he's minus one to hit. Cool. And then, let's see here. I don't think I'm in range to smite. So that's out of the question. You don't have a thousand sun smite. No. Nope. <clears throat> Not this game. Uh, I think that's it for psychic. Okay. Yep. So shooting phase. Let's start with this drone here. Which one? So this drone here. Yeah, it's gonna shoot into my radar. Radar. Cool. So two to six flame shots. This is caught. For five. five. Strength. Strength is six. Okay. So needing three. And then I reroll all my wounds because I'm near the arch contaminator warlord. Ouchies. Three? Three. Five up in vulnerable saves. I take two damage. Bloop. 
two damage. I have eight left. Yep. And I don't have black hearts, so no feel, no pain for me. The drone on the front's going to do the same thing. Yep. So we got five as well. Five more. Yep. Oof. Good roll. Okay, five ups. I have eight wounds left. And now I have five wounds left. Toss that over there. No, no, come on to the raider. And the third one's going to do the exact same thing. Yeah. They have nine inch flamers, by the way, if anybody was wondering. Yeah. Cool. Um, I'm going to spend one CP to reroll the one. Yeah. It's a good time to spend a CP. Oh. And do another one. It's kind of like what I did with mine. Yeah. <laughs> Last turn. Right. So six flame shots. That arch contaminator for rerolling wounds. That's pretty snazzy. I'm not going to lie. So five. Yep. Will he survive? He takes three wounds. He has two remaining. Down to two. He has two left. Good old Raider. Mm -hmm. But he still has these to shoot. So yeah. that might not last very long. <laughs> and yeah. first blood is still up for grabs. Okay. So heavy slugger into that far. The rim. Venom? Yep. Cool. The venom. You're on minus one to hit Venoms. Yep. Cool. And the mortar is going to go into this guy. Into, okay. Into the Raider. Yep. Cool. So four shots with the heavy slugger. Pa pow. One hit. Mm hmm. And strength five. Where's your lord, by the way? He's back there. Oh, he's back there with the levy. Mm -hmm. uh, so one wound on the venom. Yep, minus one. Ba -boo! Nope, he takes it. Mm -hmm. One wound taken. And then Boop. the mortar is going to shoot. For five. Ooh, five shots? Yep. Ouchies. Oh, okay. Sitting on fours. Two. Two. Strength eight. Strength eight. Three to wound, two wounds. Yep, Go through. Min minus two. Okay, needing fives. Ah, come on, little buddy. Oh, one gets through. He might live. P three. Oh, that's three. Oh, <laughs> no live for him. Does he explode? Oh no. Oh come on. <laughs> I'm just spending a command point. I cannot. I cannot afford for him to explode. Yeah. Please don't explode again. Okay, good. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Uh, I've got five and two characters inside. Uh, so on ones, one incubi is going to bite the dust. Bite the dust as the raider dies and Nurgle gained first blood. Uh, I lost one incubi and they've kind of got out there. I put Drazar and the incubi and the Clavex there, very close to all those flamers. Let's see what they do after that. <laughs> and now we've got one more plague crawler to see what he does. He's got one more gun, which is probably going against the venom again. Yep. So and heavy slugger into the venom and the, the big mortar. mortar. Oh, what are they into? I don't know. There's lots of things you can shoot. Let's see what they choose. Put it into the poor incubus. Yeah, that makes sense. Why not? I kind of, I kind of saw that coming. Right, so heavy slugger. Yep. So one, hit. one hit. Thank you. Minus one. It's huge. One wound. Oh no, no. T5. Five, right? Hooray! Go T5 Venom! And the mortar. One. Ooh. Thank right. goodness. I don't have that reroll. No, you don't. Not anymore. No. It hits. Oh, it does hit him though. What's the AP on it? Uh, it's minus two. Minus two, so fives. Threes, fives. Goes up to fives. <gasps> Hiya! Yay! Go Incubi Armor! Nice. Hooray! Right. And now the one we've all been waiting for Levy Dread. Yep. 16 shots. Into my jet bikes. I'm spending two command points to minus one to hit them. Yep. So you're hitting on threes, threes rolling ones, thanks to your lord. Yep. Okay, let's see if they survive this. And that's two CPs for me. So I go down to six CPs remaining. Yeah, a lot of twos. That's that's good for me. Definitely. Well, five. That's eleven, and yep. then toughness. I mean, strength eight, right? Yep. So twos. See, the extra toughness would have been useful. That wasn't paying attention. So How many? Ten? Ten to minus one. Only minus one? Yep. Oh, okay. Two damage. So I actually have a... I actually get a save! Oh my goodness! Is it six up? Uh, no, they have a four up save normally. Oh, okay. well, let me check. I think they might have a five up. So I get uh, five up saves on them with the minus one. Come on, little jet bikes! Okay. I... I passed two. So that's eight go through. They each have two, they're each worth two damage. So I've got eight here. Let's do the first one. I do get a six up feel no pain. So first one. Nope, one bike dies. Second one. Another bike dies. Third one. 
Another bike dies. Fourth one. Oh, he survives, so he soaks up the fifth one. <laughs> and then he dies. <laughs> uh, sixth one. Oh, he soaks up the seventh one. Oh, he almost double survived that. <laughs> and the last one. He lives. So I've lost uh, one, two, one, two, seven. three, four, five bikes. No, it was seven. And then one wound. Five bikes and a wound. Because two bikes soaked up too. Yeah, it was ten wounds. The jet bikes do have minus, um, minus two leadership. So I had six CPs. I do have to spend two CPs for them not to run away. So that I have four CPs left. He still has... Uh, oh, sorry, he still had 10 left. I don't know why I changed that. That was your side. Wow, 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 wow. So I have four CPs remaining. Oh, that's the wrong way. All right, so I have four CPs left, but it kept the jet bikes alive. And he did get one point for death, uh, for the killing seven models, one incubi in the explosion, the raider, and five jet bikes. So seven models exactly, so yep. he gets a point for that. And he got master of the warp, and... He um he got first blood, so it's a three point. He start he is defending objective three right now. Do you want to hold on to it, or are you getting rid of it? Um, I will hold on to it. All right, he will hold on to it, and I get one more card, which is kill something that flies, which just happens to be drones. <laughs> okay, let's see what I can do. Moving in to turn two. Dark Eldar turn two. With an early domination and with reserves able to come in on the board, my plan was to take every objective on the table. For this to happen, I had to kill three Nurglings and make a charge with some Mandrakes to murder some cultists. So with confidence, I went into the second turn, targeted one of the bloat drones because I knew that that was going to be something I had to kill in order to have a chance of winning this game and continue to put pressure on the Nurgle army up the flank where the Plagueverse crawlers were as well. Okay, turn two. I am trying for a domination. My Mandrakes have appeared here. They have to basically shoot over here so they don't kill the stuff that's in range. Hope to charge nine with a reroll. Wipe them to hold that objective. I can hold that objective and I can, can basically hold this one by killing these two Nurglings. I will be holding every objective on the board, which I need to do, <laughs> considering it's starting to swing in my, not in my favor. So let's see if fortune favors the bold as we move in to my turn two. Um, we had the 10 Scourge show up, the hugging cover over here, and uh, basically I need to try and kill those drones or I lose because that's pretty much how those drones go, and I can't deal with that Leviathan Dreadnought just yet, which is also a shame. So let's start with, uh, and of course this one is minus one to hit. Yeah, I'm gonna warp surge these guys for two CPs. For, for two CPs? Yep. Okay, so they have a four plus invulnerable save on those little guys over there. Okay, so let's start with the uh, Ravager. Um, uh, uh, he's got nine shots. He did deep strike over here, so I did spend um, I did spend the command points for that. <laughs> Technically, <laughs> so needing threes to hit. Uh, I'm shooting at this one right okay. here. Threes to hit. Rerolling ones thanks to the Archon bubble. Okay, uh, thank you, my lord. Thank you. You're so kind. Needing five to wound. Ooh, three saves. Three invulnerable saves for that. Lope drone. That's good so far. That's six damage. Okay, so five ups to save him. And he takes four damage. That's not bad. So four, he still has eight, six left? Six. Six left. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and shoot the uh, Reaper Jet Bikes. I still have the three blasters there. And I'm also going to shoot the rifle as well. So three blasters firing into the Reaper Jet Bikes, needing threes. They hit all the time this time. And needing threes. Come on, little Jet Bikes. Oh, no. One, sir. Just one. It does go through, however. It is D6 damage. 
two. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep it. Right. Two, two damage, and two damage go through. Has how many? Four remaining. Four remaining. Okay. So now I'm gonna do the haywire firing at it, and oh, I still have the one rifle. Sorry, one hit, one wound, one just one armor save. Hooray! He's okay. Okay, so I have four haywire blasters, and then the rest of the guns that can shoot are also gonna shoot into it as well. So I'll start with the haywire. So 43 shots. So that's seven. seven shots. Needing threes to hit. Better than Talos in terms of hitting with the haywire. Oh, good roll to hit. Six hits. Needing fours, fives to do extra wounds, and sixes to do D3s, which is exciting. Oh, no! One mortal wound. Oh, that's not too good. Okay, so he has... Three, three left. Okay, let's let count up how many extras I. Should. So six of them in range with the carbines. So hitting threes. These are of course poison against a vehicle, so they need sixes to wound a vehicle. But I have faith. There's three wounds that they need to get through. Let's see if they can do it. Ah, uh, two, two saves. Okay, maybe one will go through. We'll see. Oh no, both. Okay, guys. Fill the One. So he still has. Two wounds remaining, eh? Oh my goodness gracious. Two wounds remaining. Well, I'm gonna have to shoot my Void Raven Bomber at him. Okay, Void Raven Bomber. Two lances. This is uh, where I would have loved to have had... Um, um, where I would have loved to have had the D-Scythes instead of the... <laughs> That's okay. Roll to wound. He does wound. Okay, so it's up to Shane here. Will he survive? Oh, come on. He does. He does. Oh, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Two. Okay, so now I've got 10 Mandrakes, and they're all going to shoot at the 10 uh, oh. cultists back there. Yeah. 10 Mandrakes firing into the 10 cultists, needing threes. <laughs> And they are strength four minus one, so needing threes. And sixes do mortals in addition to other stuff. Not that it matters. Uh, seven dead. Seven. seven dead cultists. Dead. Very dead. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to have to do some more venoms here. Let's see if uh, this guy can see over here. No, he can't see those guys. Okay, so this Venom and guys inside are going to shoot at those cultists back there. Oh. And then this Venom and guys inside are going to shoot into that, um, that drum. The guys inside into the cultists over here. So we have 10 shots, needing threes. Oh, and needing fours, rolling ones, thanks to Poison Blade. No, it doesn't matter. Three saves the onto the cultists. Five up, because they're in cover. That's right. I got two of them. Two. And then 12 shots from the Venom itself into the same target. Ooh, decent, decent, decent. And rerolling ones. That's four saves from the Venom. Ooh, only one. Okay, now from over here, I have five guys firing into that lost drone. Five into the drone, needing threes. And then needing sixes, rolling ones. Aha! Nope. And then the uh, Venom is in rapid fire range. So rapid fire. hi -yah. Ooh. Decent roll. Need to see some sixes, Mr. Venom. Come on, little buddy. Uh, no. That was a decent roll, though. But only one save on that bloat drone. Oh my goodness gracious, it's like poison actually hurts them. He has one wound remaining, <laughs> but a, he's still alive. You're making a three-up save. I have, I have no other guns. Implant attack. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have any more guns. I should have, I was considering flying over him with my Void Raven Bomber, but that didn't happen. Okay, <clears throat> so now we're going to go into the charge phase. Um, I'm going to declare a charge on uh, the bloat drone with, uh, what's the what's the AP on it now and the strength? Uh, strength four minus one AP. All right, so I'm gonna charge the bloat drone and these guys with Drazar first. Okay. 
So Drazar is going to charge in. He has got a two-up save, and so I'm hoping he can soak up some of these shots. So I'm going to spend one CP to reroll the two. Okay. So seven. Seven. Seven hits on strength four, but he gets to reroll all of them. Uh, so it's fours because he used toughness four, and rerolling all wounds. They were all ones, by the way. Oh, okay. From all ones to all wounds. <laughs> so needing threes to save Drazar. Drazar takes two. Will he save any? He does not. So he takes two wounds, and he's going to jump into that combat with an eight. So he's going to go like this. That's what I got. Five wounds? And he's just going to stay... He, I don't... I think he has five, yeah. He's going to stay three inches away from your play, play drony guy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> then the succubus is going to charge both as well. As long as he... Just make sure he's three inches away there. So she'll go to here. Three inches is like... Just a little bit further? Yeah. All right, perfect. So she'll stay an inch away there. And then the incubi will charge both the nerglings and the drone as well. Maybe. Yeah, just put him like an inch away, but that way. So like, yeah. So as far as he can, an inch away there. Cool. And then the incubi as well. So they'll up this way. Where are they charging into? Both the nerglings and oh, okay. that one bloat drone. Cool. So something like that. All right, perfect. Cool. And then over here, you've got these uh, guys shooting over here, because I am declaring a charge on those cultists. So we've got some Raptify shots here into the Mandrakes. One hit. No wounds. <laughs> okay. Let's see if the Mandrakes can make it. They need a nine. It's reroll because it's turn two. Hiya! Oh, it's a seven. Come on, shadowy constructs. The Dark City needs you. No, oh, that's not even, not even, not even. No! No, I'm probably gonna die now. No, you silly. That was a, that was a well-executed, or almost well-executed domination. <laughs> okay, so let's start with um, uh, Drazar. So he's going to fight. So Drazar gets four base attacks, and he's using his, his he's using his, um... We also had these guys charge into the Nurglings. Um, so, we have um, Drazar attacking first. He gets four attacks, plus two for his Demiclaves. I'm going to uh, Warp Surge them again. He's going to Warp Surge them for another two CPs on the Nurglings. Try and keep them alive. So, uh, need, this is against the Blood Drum, by the way. So, needing twos to hit. And then needing fives to wound with Drazar, the Master of Blades. So, he does one save at minus... Uh, so, one invul. Just one damage. Nope, goes through. Will he disgustingly resilient or will you reroll it? I'm gonna re -roll it. He's gonna reroll it. No. Nope. And then disgustingly resiliented. No. no. So he is gonna die. Does he blow up? On a four plus. No. He does not. So the bloat drone is gone. And then Drazar gets to fight a second time. So he will move three inches here. And then he's going to attack. The little blo the drones, the because he declared both of them as a target, so he's going to go against the Nurglings. So uh, two to hit the Nurglings, and twos to wound the Nurglings. These are all just one damage, so that'd be six saves. Six saves against the Nurglings, but they are warp surge, so they are a four plus invulnerable save. <gasps> Crazy. Yep. Okay. Oh wow. Oh no. <laughs> uh, oh no. Why? And then Why they get five ups because only one damage. Oh my god. Four. So he does kill an entire Nurgling base. Okay. Drazar fighting his way. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll run in with the Incubi, I believe. The Incubi have piled in over here, um, leaving room for the, uh, the Witch as well. So each Incubi has three attacks, and then the Clavex has four. They get plus one to hit when. Drazar is around, so the Incubi hitting on twos. Okay. <laughs> and they are strength four, so they need twos to wound. So that would be four saves for the Nurglings, so far just from the Incubi. Four saves needing four pluses, two survive, well, two feel no pains there. So that's one damage. The Clavex hits on twos, because he already hits on twos, can't hit on ones, sadly. And needs twos to wound, but sixes are three damage with a super decapitating strike. Nope, just three more saves from the Clavex. 
So okay. two go through. Come on. Just one damage each. Uh, oh that's God. two. He's got one wound remaining. Okay. Now my succubus is going to activate. She has to go in as well. A plop into there. She only has four attacks, uh, but she has a special archite glaive, which does D3 damage if it goes through. So, uh, needing twos to hit. Rerolling ones because she's a succubus. Needing twos to wound with her archite glaive. That's four saves on the Nurgling. Oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> and that Nurgling has decided to stay alive. Oh no! Gaining defend objective three. Oh, that is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Okay, and because I got lazy and I didn't wrap, he's going to be able to fall back there. Oh no! Okay. On to better pastures. These grotesques are going to attack this unit of Nurglings. <laughs> Four grotesques into the Nurglings. Flesh Gauntlets hitting on threes. And I'm using Flesh Gauntlets to just try and bypass the Impulse Save with a few wounds here. Uh, which it does, actually. Um, wow, good job. So that is six saves and then three mortal wounds. And then three, four more attacks from the regular attacks. So three hit and two more. So that would be uh, eight saves on fives and then three mortals on top of that. Yep. Cool. Go, Grotesques! You can do it! Why can't it pass? I need to pass some saves. But seven went through plus three mortals. So I might kill a couple of bases here. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my god. I do. Brutal. I kill two bases with the Brutal. with the grotesques. Blah blah. Okay, I can't really wrap him because he can just he can just climb on top of that uh, crate. But um they're just going to sit there and get flamed next turn. Okay. Uh, that Nurgling gets to attack me, though. Oh, no. I'm going to... Let's see here. Attack. Drazar. Drazar gets hit by a bunch of little... Three roll ones. Poopy monsters. Two Three roll ones to hit or two wound? Uh, to hit because of the demon prince. Oh, right, 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 right. And then... That's cool. Nothing. Cool. Does the... Aren't they plague weapons? They just re-roll ones, I think. Okay. Okay. So moving on to turn two. Oh, you need another attack here. Oh, yeah. And then morale test for that unit of cultists, this unit of cultists, and those nerglings, and those nerglings. Oh, no. That, those nerglings. Oh, yeah. That nergling actually matters. Oops. Nothing? Nothing, because I'm strength two. Cool. Okay. Because if you roll a six, that's equal to seven. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then because of my incubi, they will, he will run. So if you roll a six... They will run because my incubi have Tormentor Helms. Okay. Um, and then you've got minus seven there and minus three here. Okay. So minus seven. Um, let's roll it out, why not? Okay. So before you die, okay. so leadership, what, six? Yeah. Plus seven, yeah. Pa plow! We're gone. Um, these guys in the forest? Yeah, right minus three. The woods there. So, so it's seven, so one guy? Yeah, one guy. Hello! Unless their sergeant is seven. Uh, I'll double check. Yeah, we'll check it. If it is, we'll put him back. And then I'm going to spend two CP. On that Nurgling? Yeah. And then this Nurgling lost two. Yeah. So that Nurgling? He stays as well. Okay, so yeah, you're getting his defend objective three at the end of my turn. I was able to scour the skies from one point, and I'm going to keep... I'm going to keep Domination, and I'm going to keep Assassinate. No, I'm going to get rid of Assassinate, but I'm going to keep Domination. No, I'm going to keep both. Force him to think about... No, you know what? I'm getting rid of Assassinate. I'm going to score Scour of the Skies. I'm going to keep Domination, though. And then I'll, uh, I'll get rid of Assassinate. So with one point, that's four, five points left. Five points to you. I've got one point. Moving on to turn two. Oh, defend objective six is the next one. That's that one where my venom is. Mm -hmm. And supremacy, just hold three objectives and you get a D3 point. Yep. That's good. That'll be a good one for... I should be able to get that over there. Yeah, yeah. Here. Well, I do have upset guys inside there. Yeah. So, But you've got a lot of stuff. So we'll see how that works. And then I still have domination in hand. Uh, so that'll definitely be interesting as we move on to turn two. 
two. Wow, only turn two. The Death Guard take advantage of my failure to get domination. And now my Incubi and my main combat characters are exposed on the flank. As well, the Leviathan Dreadnought is at large and the Mandrakes are exposed in the back of the field. This turn could make or break it if I don't get off lightly in the ensuing shooting phase. Okay, so we have end of movement. Uh, Leviathan's kind of boost, boost uh, he moves to eight inches, so he moved uh, over here. Uh, Lord kind of screwed it out in front there. They kind of moved this way, they moved there, they moved this way. They moved all this stuff here. Uh, he's moved a drone, another drone to assassinate Nurglings to try and start defending objective six over there. Cool. So with that, we're moving into the shooting phase. So he has one objective, two objectives, and then he just needs to kill that for three objectives. Actually, no, he doesn't have to kill anything. Well, actually, yes, he did. He has to kill the characters or they'll heroically intervene into the Nurgling. So <clears throat> moving on to the next uh, shooting phase. Psychic phase. Psychic phase. So he's going to try and cast Shriveling Pox onto these guys. Minus one toughness? Yep. Cool. That does go off. Nice. Okay, now toughness four. Toughness four. Uh-oh. Uh, this guy is going to try to cast Smite. Okay. And that does go off. Cool. I believe, is Drazzar the yep. closest there? Drazzar takes a, a mortal wound. wound. Cool. So one wound on Drazzar. Does he save it on a six? No, he takes another wound. And then the Demon Prince is going to cast Smite. Okay. That's a Mega Smite. A mega oh, smite. Drazar might die. Oh, oh. six wounds. <laughs> yeah, Drazar just falls over as his brain explodes. <laughs> Blip. Ah, dead. They are going to... These cultists. Rapid fire into these guys. Okay. Minus one to hit. Thanks to being Mandrakes. Yep. Woo -woo -woo. Super Mandrakes. I love the fact they have a built-in minus one hit. And it works in combat, too, which is kind of handy. Which is snazzy. Exciting stuff, that. So, hitting on fours. That's really poor. So, hitting on fives? Or fives, sorry. Yeah. Not as many as he as they would have hoped. Good enough for my roll. I'm winning on fours. Two. Two five-up saves. And six up field up eight. No, one Mandrake goes down. Kablip. Ah. Okay. Uh, slugger, Flamers into the Grotesques, Mortar into the Bikes. Yeah. So Slugger into the Grotesques. Yep. One hit. Beat their toughness four now. So threes to wounds. Nope. And then Flamer. the Flamers. Seven. Seven. Uh, <clears throat> needing threes, though. No. Needing twos because they're strength. Are they strength eight? They are strength eight. Nice. So needing twos. Twos. We're all the grotesques. Ouch. So seven. seven. Yep. That's all the dice I have in my hand. Four up. Feel uh, uh, impulse for profits of Le Flesh. And six up. Feel no pains. So three wounds. Ah. And then the mortar over here. Yep. Five, five shots. Very nice on the on the jet bikes. Yep. Two hits. Uh, strength two eight as well. Yep. Two minus. Minus two. Okay, so I'm needing sixes. Nope. And then D3 damage. First one is one damage. Does he survive? Nope. So he one guy that was wounded dies. Yep. Second one is one damage. One damage as well. So he takes a wound. Okay. Oh, that was a wound counter there. So I've lost a bike and a wound on a blaster bike. Repeat for the second Plague Burst Crawler. Yep. Ah, go, Nurgly goodness. One hit. Slugger. One, One wound. Uh, nope. Does he survive? Nope. So you have killed one. Yay. Blarg. Flamers. Yep. Eleven. Arrgh. Wounding on twos, rolling ones. Because I'm toughness four, thanks to the shriveling box. Yep. So handy little spell. Seven plus five. No. no it's not very often things wound... Grotesques on twos. No. Nope. Maybe Death Watch with their super cool ammunition. Ones. So ten. ten. So I have seven, and I need three more in my hand. Okay, so ten wounds on fours. 
Okay. So six go through and needing sixes. No, so you kill another one and one takes two wounds. And then the mortar into the bikes, the bikes for five again. Nicely done, Mr. Mortar. For three hits. Nice. Needing twos as well. Yep, you're rolling ones. Oh, because it's also a plague weapon. So threes, needing sixes. Okay, come on, little bikes. Nope, all three get through. So the first guy takes one. Does he survive? <laughs> he does not, so he's going to go down. Second one takes three. Three, will he survive? No, and the third one takes one. Will he survive? Yes! Well, he takes, he takes no wounds. So I've lost him and him. I still have one biker remaining. Hooray! These cultists over here firing into the venom as the Nurglings take objective six. Aha! Needing fives to hit because of the minus one. That's three hits. And needing fives to wound. Nothing. No wounds against the venom. Okay, and then still left to shoot, we have the Leviathan Dreadnoughts and, and the two Bloat Drones. Yep. So this drone here, Bloat Drone numero uno, is going to, let's see here, shoot into the Scourge for ten yep. shots. Yowchies. Uh, needing twos, right? Yeah, strange yeah. sense. Twos rolling ones, thank goodness for a cover, so I'm looking at four up saves, that's nine, four up saves, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four ups and then six ups, and sixes, so three scourge will go down, um, yeah, so we're gonna kill him, and we explode drone firing into my homunculus, for four, four shots. Mm. He has two command points left. <laughs> We're gonna do it. Okay, he wants to try and assassinate my uh, Hemoculus there. That's a bit better. Yeah, you get seven hits. He's toughness five. So needing threes, rolling ones. Ooh, he got all rerolls. That's good. There we go. Good conversion. Seven. seven. Seven four up saves for my homunculus. He's gonna take four. I'm gonna spend his once per game reroll. So he only takes three and then sixes. So he takes three wounds. So he has two remaining. So I'll shoot one cannon at the scourge, one cannon at these guys, okay. and then flame these guys. Okay. So it's two d six shots there, yep. and one cannon is what eight shots hitting on twos rolling ones. Wounding on twos, so eight shots you should be, and then, so, okay, I'm not going to use the stratagem on the Scourge. All right, cool. Okie dokie, let's see what happens here. Two flamers. Two flamers into, he's already used his reroll as well, so that's eight shots, or oh, eight hits. Eight hits. String five? Uh, yes. Cool. So needing threes to wound the Mandrakes, so that's six. Yep. Into the Mandrakes. Needing fives. Come on, little Mandrakes. Ooh, and they're one damage each? Two damage, Two damage each. Okay, so I'll just reroll any sixes here. Okay. No, so five Mandrakes go down. Blah, they burn. One, two, three, four, five. Ouchies. Okay. And then the cannons into the Incubi. Yep. Ah, poor Mandrakes. Burning. Burning. Okay. Eight into the incubi. Yep. Twos. Rerolling nothing because he didn't need it. <laughs> Did not need it. And twos. So six. Six. Minus one. Minus one. So they have four up saves. Come on, four up saves. Oh Thank my God. goodness gracious. Are you kidding me? Incubis live. How come I can't roll four up saves like that? <laughs> All right. Into these guys. Okay, and then eight shots into the scourge. Sad. Very sad. Sad, yeah. The Incubi lived. Very sad. <laughs> Almost as crazy as the uh, the little nurgling living. <laughs> uh, twos. Six more. Come on. 
Okay, six more into the scourge, needing fours. That's minus one. Yeah, so they're in cover. Each. Yeah, so two damage each. I'll just roll these and reroll any sixes. No, so three of them are just gonna go a dead. The Lord is gonna shoot a bolt pistol into the mandrakes. Threes, rerolling ones. Rerolling ones. Uh, fours. Oh, threes. Yeah, yeah, threes. Cause like, and then he wounds. Oh. Will he shoot a mandrake in the face? No. Mandrake lives. Ha ha! He's gonna charge in just the homunculus. Uh, yes. Okay, one pistol shot missed. Okay, he makes it into the helicopter. <laughs> okay, go, Hemoculus, you can do it. This guy is going to charge into the bike. Just the bike? Yeah. Cool, the bike. Cocked. Missed. With his blaster. Six. Yeah, he'll make it in there. <laughs> Okay, charging into the lone biker left. I lost a couple of his buddies. So the demon prints into both units. Succubus gets a pistol shot that hits and fails to wound. Demon prints. Four inches. He's gonna hobble over and make it in combat. Perfect. This tank's charging the grotesque. They can't do anything about it. They make it in. Cool. That's it for charges, folks. Um, so at the end of the charge phase, heroic intervention. I she can, her. Yeah, I know. She can heroic intervene. She's just going to pile in to be in base to base with both of them here. Let's we'll start with Mr. Demon Prince, who has declared against both uh, demonic talons, right? Yeah. Seven attacks. Hitting on twos, rolling ones, wounding on twos as well. Uh, except for her, she's toughness four. Mr. Demon Prince is swinging everything at the succubus. Let's see if she can hold off the flurry of attacks. Sure. Six hits, needing twos to wound, re-rolling. Are they demon weapons? No, they're not. Play no. weapons, right? right? Needing twos to wound. No, threes. Oh, oh right, because she's toughness uh, better than normal. Five? Five. Five wounds. She does have a three-up invul save, thanks to silver quick reflexes. And she passes... Three, uh, three of them, so two, that's four damage, needing sixes. No, she takes four damage. It's now going to attack the Hemonculus with its three attacks. Yeah, it got nothing. And it missed all three. <laughs> oh, no. This blow drone into the bike. That's One nice. hit. Toughness, four. Wounds. One wound, minus, minus two. Ooh, so needing a six. Is it multiple damage? Yeah. D3? Yep. Yeah. Okay, sixes, no, D3 damage. Three. Oh no, I need to pass two of these for him to live. No, he is dead, you got the jet bikes. Okay, Playbrist Crawler attacking the grotesques. Three attacks. One hit, nice. One, One wound. wound, four up. Nope, six up. No. He takes another wound. He's down to one wound remaining. The heroic Nurgling is going to attack. Oh, look at that. He's got some good attacks on there. Three hits. Nice. Um, three hits. I remember. Locust. Okay. So. Locust is on a yeah, wound of a six, is two damage. Yeah, so they're strength yeah. three now because they're in range of him. Oh, okay. So needing five. So no. Ooh, fancy. No um, rerolls? Oh, yeah, he's near them, so he gets full rerolls for oh, okay. uh, Urge Contaminate. Very cool. So, two three up saves. Oh, one is, of them is two damage if it gets through. Damage. So, the two damage one if it gets through. No. And the one damage, oh. I will spend a command point to reroll it. Oh, come on. The Nurgling might kill her. <laughs> okay, six up. Oh, oh you it. got her! No. Nurgling does it. Little Nurgling, <laughs> little poop Nurgling, little pooper, little pooper, little pooper, little pooper. Totally killed him. Oh no! Okay, so now I get to pile in. So they're gonna pile in here like this. Rawr. and then closer, and then they're just gonna smack Mister Nurgling. The reason I'm not attacking him is because of the uh, separating plate, yeah, which would sure. kill me. So against the Nurglings, these need twos. Uh, no, actually threes now because, wow. Because uh, Drazar's dead, and then twos. So three saves so far on him, and then the 
the uh, Clavex, uh, two as well. So five saves in total. They're only one damage each against Little Nerdling. Oh my god. Oh no, he <laughs> might die. He's dead. Uh, oh, that's so close. <laughs> no, my Poop Nerdling. Poop Nerdling. Avenge the Succubus. He's going to pile in. He's going to get over here, boop, like this. So I'm going to get them to swing at that Nurgling guy. So I've got two, ah, two of the Flesh Gauntlets and then two regular attacks. So two Flesh Gauntlets needing threes and needing twos. So that's three saves so far and then two regular attacks and one hit, one wound. So four saves on said Nurgling. Come on, man. And fives. They're only one damage. Come on, can Takes three one. wounds. He has one remaining. And then my Hemonculus over here has five attacks. And he just has uh, strength three. So five, sixes. Nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. And. You want back over here? Oh, did you pile into them? Yeah. All right. So I'm just going to get the two guys there. Just two guys. Yeah, two guys into the. Uh, nope, no hits. Okay. Um, I'm spending two command points to make them pass, so they auto pass, and then the uh, the mandrakes did lose six. Their leadership. Uh, well, we'll see. <laughs> they go to eleven, <laughs> so they would lose three. Um, but I'm going to spend my last command point and go for go for broke. Hopefully, they roll lower than that. I need them alive. Oh, oh come same. on, the exact same. So uh, three of them go down. The only one left is the sergeant, but he's still alive. Okay, and now we're moving on to Dark Eldar. Turn three. Uh, he's going to get rid of Defender Direct of six, and I was able to stop him from uh, Supremacy because I was able to kill the Nurgling here which allows me to stop him from scoring three objectives points. Okay, but he did kill two of my big characters, and he's got two drones essentially in my backfield, which is exactly where I didn't need them. And he still has his Leviathan alive. So let's see if I can do this. Moving oh. in. Uh, and you kill... two more for this. He scored three more points, because he actually had, he got rid of 21 models. models this round. So that's three points for... Uh, death begets life, which is pretty cool. So he's going up three more points. I do still have domination in my hand. And uh, what does do I get? I get defend objective five, which is at least one over there, which is good. You'll get that. And I get mission critical objective. So hold objective number three, which is that one. So I'll be able to get that one. Okay, so a couple of decent maelstroms. The key here is, can I kill these guys? And if I can, that would allow me to um, uh, dominate. So let's see if we can do that. What a turn. The Drukari reeling from the onslaught of the Death Guard. I'm trying to make my most. I have to try and get domination. I have to try and secure and defend an objective. If I can do this, I can swing the game a total of eight points or six to eight points and bring it closer together. So, wish me luck, here we go. Okay, we're after turn three. Uh, bottom of turn three movement. Uh, uh, Void Raven, Venom kind of moved up, trying to snipe one of these characters here. Uh, Grotesque stayed in combat there, moved this Venom out here after disembarking those guys. Uh, Mandrake has moved up to be in objective placement here. These Incubi fell on back, as well as the Scourge, and all that good stuff. And I've moved my Ravager up to be able to shoot some little cultists as well. So, with that in mind, we will go into my shooting phase. And we're going to start with nine shots from the Ravager. So we'll do nine shots from the Ravager, firing into the cultists. Ha-ha! So threes to hit, rolling ones thanks to the Archon that's nearby. Boop, 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 boop. Thank you, my lord. You're so kind. No, I wasn't worthy of rerolls. And needing threes to wound at minus three. Oh no! Only three go down. 
Uh oh. Pew pew pew. Okay. So the nerve, the uh, okay. So then I have a venom sitting right there, and the venom is going to open up into them as well. So the venom gets twelve shots. A pow. And needs threes. No rerolls. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, one hit. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, at least I can reroll ones to wound. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> my goodness Getting gracious. Getting on the bad nose saddle. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was me going to bed, apparently. But it didn't really work out too well for me. Oh, no. Okay, Mr. Mandrake. <laughs> Your time to shine, buddy. So Mr. Mandrake's going to shoot two. Two shots. Hitting on threes and then wounding on threes with sixes being mortal wounds with Mandrake. Nope, no wounds from that Mandrake either. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. All right, so that Venom, that one back there, um, I don't think he's within 18. But like, oh, over here, the Venom is not within 18, so you're just going to get six shots. Let's see if this Venom can do a little better than the last Venom. <gasps> Come on, little buddy. Threes to hit. Meh. And fours to wound. Yay, I got two wounds through. No AP. Hitting fours. Uh, so that Mandrake is now going to uh, go into those five cultists. Uh, after the Void Raven shot at them and stuff as well. So they've there's five left. So let's see if my Night Fiend can do the... Di oh my goodness oh, gracious. Oh no! <laughs> uh -oh. I think my uh, Night Fiend might fail. Oh goodness crap. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, fives! Oh my goodness! I need to see. He needs to live. Come on! Yeah, oh he God. lived. <laughs> okay, so Mr. Mandrake. Oh crap! That was that was way too close for my liking. I I like. Oh or my goodness! That you did. Happening. You saw and it. I was just like, he's gonna roll. <laughs> Over here, uh, I'm gonna charge into the one that can't shoot me. Uh, he's just gonna go. He's just gonna like get an inch yeah. here, and he's gonna pile into there. Yep. Um, that's all I can do from that. So the big thing of the match is gonna be my night fiend uh, swinging at your cult. We have four attacks from the night fiend hitting on twos because it's turn three now. Oh. <laughs> you just need to kill one, uh, and then the whole squad dies. Really? Well, I've already lost five. Six plus one is seven, so you can lost one. Oh, that makes sense. Um, so I need a three to wound? Yep. This is minus one AP in combat. Two does kill one. So that's the end of that. Oh, no, you get to attack me back, because you yeah. might kill me. True. Cultists are going to attack uh, five attacks. Hitting on sixes? No. They hit on fours normally, right? Hit on fours. Hitting on fives then. Minus one to hit the Mandrake. Oh, three hits. Wounding on fives. That's one. Will they be able to kill him? Let's see. Oh, they don't. He survives. And then this Venom is going to pile into here. Kaploop. Okay, and he's going to attack the one that he did. That's two attacks from a Venom on fours. And on sixes, nope. Um, and then I get to pick a unit. I'm going to pick my grotesques. I'm going to do one smacking the uh, tank and one smacking the nurgling. So against the tank, using my scalpel, my big scalpel, all hit, needing fives, nothing. And against the nurgling, uh, that's the flesh gauntlet, that's the regular. Flesh gauntlet does three saves and a mortal wound. So that'd be four saves and a mortal wound on top of that. On the Nurgling. So that'd be three. Okay, so the Nurgling goes down from the Grotesques. Uh, you get to swing back with your tanks. And yeah, that's that. Two sixes from the tank into the Grotesques. Uh, strength one eight. Yeah. yeah, one wound. Needing a four up on the Grot. Oh no, needing a six up on the Grot. Nope. You kill a Grotesque. <laughs> The other one's going to die to smites, more than likely. And then the other one on the Venom. Cool. One hit on the Venom. No wounds on the Venom. Okay, so morale test. The They're going to fall back. Yeah, I already lost. 
six. six. Flee! Run away! Unfortunately. I wish they were leadership seven. Yeah? Did we check that? So with that turn, I was able to score a clutch domination. Um, what's this from? Oh, from the grotesque. A uh, clutch domination, which gives me um, 46. So domination is three plus. Whoa. So four points, but boom. Four points on domination. And I am uh, scoring objective three. So I get, um, so it's five points right now. And I'm starting to defend objective five. So I have... I've uh, pulled it a little closer as we move in to turn three for the Death Guard. And he currently has killing seven models at a time. Still has supremacy, so score uh, D3 for holding three objectives. And, um, and then one more card. Grandfather's Gift. Okay, it's a Nurgle one. So, I have to kill an enemy unit with a plague weapon. Okay, cool. So like the one of the flamers or mm -hmm. something, e even in shooting. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay. Okay, we're done the movement phase on turn three for the Death Guard. Um, this guy fell back. He stayed in combat because he's essentially going to try and smite uh, last grotesque. Uh, these cultists have moved out this way. I have the one Mandrake left here. They've started to push up on the board. Uh, the Demon Prince has moved out over here to basically start clearing out some of this mess. And the Nurglings are getting ready to assault these Cabalites. While on this flank, one of these flame drones is going to be uh, probably shooting and killing that. And then this one that's wounded is going to be taking out some of these Scourge. Okay, moving into the Psychic phase. Alright, first things first. Uh, the guy that's shouting is going to smite. Yep, the closest one. Yep. Cool. So that goes off. Yep. The three mortal wounds. The three on Mr. Grotesque. Sixes. Nope. He takes three wounds. He has one remaining. And the guy behind him is going to use it as well. Okay. Does that on. go on the Smite. Grotesque as well? Yep. Cool. And it goes off. Yep. Seven. Mm -hmm. Or one. One mortal wound. On a six. Ooh. Nope. He's dead. He died. Ah! And then Mr. Demon Prince, he's going to smite as well. Okay. And that goes against this Venom. Yeah. So that's a seven. Yeah. Does not go off. No. Uh, okay. That's it for six. These cultists all rapid firing into that poor little Mandrake. <clears throat> Minus one to hit, however. Good old Mandrakes. Six left, I think. Uh, how many more dice? I just need two. We're back. Hey, little Mandrake, will you survive the shooting? Will you? So I'm 85. Okay. So that's my toughness three. Uh yeah. So three saves. Three saves on Mr. Mandrake. Mm hi -ya! And he's past two. Will he survive? No, he will go down. Float drone shooting. Great. Ooh. And he's full. He's full wounded. Yeah, blood drone. Okay. So freeze, rerolling ones. Okay. Okay. Fours. Haya. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> and sixes. Uh, nope. <laughs> he's very dead. Okay. Yeah. So that gives you a point for killing something with a plague weapon. Yep. Cool. Drone. Haywires. Wounded drone now. So it's strength. Five. Five now. Yeah. Uh, still the same against me. Oh no. Uh oh. Mwah, mwah. Uh, Mr. Levy Dreadnought. So he's gonna flame into the plane. Okay. Are they nine inch flamers? Uh eight inch. Oh, I, okay. I measured. It should be eight. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah good. So the flamers into the plane, which are two damage, strength five flamers. Um, and then his butcher cannons. Yeah. One butcher cannon to this venom. One butcher cannon into these incubi. Okie dokie. And then a bunch of flamers into the yeah. into the the plane. So the first put the cannon into those guys? Yep. Yeah. Twos rolling ones. All of them. All of them. And then twos. Twos. All of them. Oh. 
Okay, so I have uh, cover save, so two up goes up to a three up. Oh, let's see if they can survive like last time. Okay, so three are gonna go down, unless they feel no pain this. Yeah, two damage. So, yeah, yeah, so one guy, no, so three guys go down. So it's an easy way to do the two damage. You just roll a bunch of stuff. Uh, is that, who's my clay, where's my clayvex? Did I kill my clayvex? Technically I did. Wah, 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 clayvex. Okay. Put your cannon into Venom with minus one to hit. Rerolling ones. So six hits. I'm needing threes to wound. Uh -huh. So four. You only need three of these to go through. Five up saves. Yep, there's three of them. <laughs> six damage. It's dead. Does it explode? It does not. And there's five guys inside. Uh, for five are okay. So the last squad of cab lights will come out. Uh, They've disembarked from the Venom, and that means he's gained one more point for um, death. B gets life because he's killed eight models so far. And then the flamers into the big guy. Nine hits. Oof. Strength five, so maybe fives to wound. And they're two damage each, which is pretty crazy. Are they minus one AP? Yep. Cool. So two go through. So five ups, and two damage gets onto the Void Raven Bomber. Lord's gonna shoot a bolt pistol into the Void Raven Bomber hit. for a hit. Needs a five. No, no. Oh, Levy Dread trying to get to the Incubi. Nine. With a nine. Yeah, that'll make yeah. it. He <laughs> runs right into the Incubi. This is my objective. Yeah. Blah. <laughs> uh. Ouchies. <laughs> Oh jeez. Demon Prince into the Venom. I don't get to overwatch. Five, he makes it in no problem. These Nurglings into the Cabalites. I do get to overwatch you, my friend. So I get 10 shots. Let's see if my, um, let's see. Ba bow Oh! Nice. And eating fours. Rerolling once. Three saves on Nurglings. One damage each, of course. Two damage on a Nurgling base. Pa pow But they are gonna make it a no problem. Ah, they're coming to fight. This Pox Bringer is gonna charge into the cab lights. Two of them can see you, so that's uh, four shots. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. He makes it in. Ah, they're actually pretty nasty in close combat, too. The other one tries to get in with a six, and he will. Right. Yeah, yeah, he'll get in there as well. Roll the six. No! Ba blow! The Nurglings first, they get four attacks each, 12 attacks, hitting on fives, wounding on fives, strength two, uh, hitting on fours, hitting on fours, wounding on fives, and they uh, reroll ones to wound as well because of the uh, poison poop weapons. Yep. <laughs> Which so is five. Cool. Reroll ones. Nothing. Okay, so the Nurglings have done nothing there. Um, the Leviathan Dreadnought going. against the last member of the Incubi unit. Four attacks. Yep. Heading on two. Yep. Not rerolling ones. And strength eight or six yep. or something. Strength Needed eight. twos. No AP though. Yeah, yeah no AP. Okay, so threes. Oh my goodness. Sixes. <laughs> I need to pass one of these for the Clavex to live there. Nope. Dead. Incubi. Boop. Demon Prince into the Venom. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hitting on twos. That's seven hits. Wounding on... Threes. Minus two, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, don't get involve saves in close combat. So I'm needing sixes. So eight damage, it's gonna die. Does it explode? No, it does not. One more venom goes down. Yep. Wah, wah, wah. Now the heralds. So he gets three attacks. We'll roll them together. I think it's the same thing, right? Sure. Yeah, so. Let me see one more. Okay. So six attacks in total for the heralds. Check. Cool. Hit on twos. Yep. Uh, needing twos for rolling ones. Cool. Minus three. Yeah, so I just need six up saves. Cool. So you kill three. Two live. 
So the sergeant and the guy on top here. Bloop, 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 bloop. Okay. To attack back with these cab lights. So I have six attacks back. They hit on twos because it's turn three. And they wound on toughness two, so threes. Rerolling ones because I get to reroll in close combat thanks to my um, trait. So I get three wounds on the Nurglings. And feel no pains. Oh my god. Oh no! So I kill a Nurgling and one wound on another base. That's rough. Bloop. Morale for this unit over here, they lost three to eight. They are fine. And other than that, you get two, one point, because you were one shy of killing 14. One point for Death Begget's life. And oh, okay. so we want two more points there. So he's added two points from Death Begget's life. So it's just crazy. So two points in total. Oh, I got this. Um, he killed something, so he got another point. So he's added three Maelstrom points to his tally this turn. And are you going to get rid of anything? You're going to keep Supremacy? Shane's going to discard Supremacy so you don't have to worry about holding objectives. Um, I do get Defend, so I get two points this round for Maelstrom, and he gets three points this round for Maelstrom, bringing our total up to... Um, 10 points for the Death Guard with First Blood, so that's 11 points to 8 points for the Drukhari. And going into turn um, turn 4, the Drukhari gain, Defend Objective 1, which is this one back here, Secure Objective 1, which is that one back there, well that's useful, and Defend Objective 6, which is this one here with the Nerglings. Okay. It's the truth time. I used some shenanigans to try and block the Leviathan to get range on my Ravager, putting units to defend an objective, and trying to keep my Void Raven alive from the Flamers, forcing Shane to make a choice next turn. Okay, end of turn four, I moved my Hellions and advanced them up. They kind of pulled back to try and get away from the Levy Dread. Um, I've pulled the Scourge back as well. My target priority is that one there, because he's got five wounds. So it's probably the easiest target I have as for now and then that avoid raven has tried to just maneuver to avoid some of the flamers over there other than that um yeah let's see what happens as we move in to turn four so I'm going to start with the first thing uh, that I can't really uh do anything about it's going to be the scourge in the backfield over here they're going to shoot into that guy so 3d3 uh hay workshops so three, nine, six, eight shots. Needing threes to hit, Mr. Plague Drone. Okay. And needing fours to do mortal wounds. Okay, so two saves at minus one. So one gets through, plus two D3 mortals. So four, that would be five. Feel no pains in total on that drone. Oh, <laughs> he takes one wound. <laughs> Thank you, Grandfather. Yeah, yeah, Grandfather Nurgle is pleased. <laughs> okay, so Mr. Ravager's gonna have to try and do the dirty deed here. Get out of here. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Ravager, you can. You can do it. You can do it. it. Rerolling ones. Thank you, my lord. That's three disintegrators cannons worth. Now is where I need the fives. I don't get the reroll ones to wound because I'm not black heart, but I have faith in my Ravager. Two! Haha! -ha! That's all I need. They both have to get through, though. Five ups. Ugh. Two damage. And, yeah, two damage. And that is my hopes and dreams thwarted in one, in one roll. <laughs> One roll. And one roll. To rule them all. To rule them all. One roll to hide them. One roll to bring them all. And in the darkness, hide them. Um, okay, so two lances into the Levy Dread. Uh -oh. Okay, might as well start now. Let's see if I can do some damage here. Yep. Two hits. Needing threes to wound because they're strength eight. Uh, sorry, strength nine lances, which is pretty cool. Yeah, two invulnerable saves on Mr. Levy Dread. Five up. Ooh, both get through. I'm going to spend one. Yeah. Last command point spent to reroll. No. 2d6 damage. Come on, Mr. Void Raven Baller. Right, Don't six. fail me now. Seven. Well, that's half wounds, right? Uh, yes. 
Bazow! Yes! Although you can kill stuff in close combat and get wounds back. Exactly. So, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, I'm gonna now do some combats. I have my five little Cablite Warriors in the corner here. Bow! Um, they get to attack, so we've got uh, two, uh, two to hit now, still, because it's turn four. And needing three to wound rolling ones, thanks to Blackheart. So, three saves on Ziz Nerglings over here. Uh, four saves. Sorry, four saves. Two get through. And few more pains. Two. So one guy has one wound remaining. Kaplop. Little nerglings. Attack you back. Little nerglings. Nerglings attacking. Nerglings. I like it. Oh, nice. good roll from the nerglings. Good job. <laughs> All those hits. Do it again. Uh oh, uh oh, cab light warriors. Do it again, do it again. Reroll once. Oh, and that's a cock dice there. Oh, that's two wounds. Oh, three wounds so far on the on the cab light warriors, needing fives. Come on, cab light armor. Nope. nope. And sixes. Nope. Oh, three of them go down. Oh, no. Yes. One, two, three, which uh, does mean that he is now contesting that objective successfully, which is a shame. Yeah. Uh-oh. Um, so I'm fearless now on turn four. I start defending objective one. I uh, I secure objective one for one milestone point. I'm going to get rid of defense six simply because it's going to be nigh impossible to do that. And with that, we move on to Death Guard, turn uh, four. Yep. So, top of turn four. And we have... Mission Ooh, objective. which one? So which one? Oh, Roll a d6. Roll a d6. And that will be the one you have to try and capture. It's worth one point, unless you take it away from me, in which case it would be worth two points. Objective one. That one. Okay, maybe. <laughs> cool. And then one more card. Defend objective one. That one. Okay. Come on. So it's the same cards that we got last time. Uh, that I got. Just he got them. So moving on to turn. The Death Guard sense a chance to do the killing blow against the Drukari. He moves the plague bearer, the uh, plague burst scrollers back to flame the Void Raven bomber. You know he's hoping to get rid of the bomb since the Void Raven hasn't dropped it yet. The Leviathan Dread is able to get in range of the Ravager, and the plague drones, the bloat drones, continue to harass in the far deep corners of the Drukari deployment zone. Will he capitalize on this and bring it home? Uh, we have the two. Uh... First callers move back to flame my tank. Uh, he moved over. He, I think he can just reach the Ravager from there. 36 inches yep. would be very close. Um, he's still got more movement to do that. He moved up within six to give reroll ones. He's staying within six to give reroll wounds. The Nurglings have fallen back from over here while the cultists have kind of moved up to lend their auto gun fire. So moving into the psychic phase. All right, so this guy's going to try and cast Fleshy Abundance. Okay. That does go off. Oh, that's the heal. Yeah, so I'm going to target the Nerglings. Oh, cool. For three. So they get Bloop. full life. That is awesome. Okay. Um, this guy here. Yeah. He is going to cast. Um, that. He's just going to throw a smite out. Okay. I'm going to try and smite my. Yep. So it goes off. My plane. It does. Four. Three. three. Ouch. Three wounds on the plane. Boop. So went down to. He's taken five. He has seven remaining. Seven. seven. Yes. Uh, my lord. Yep. He is going to cast. Let's see. Minus one to hit on the Leviathan. Navi. Okay. It so goes, goes off. off. So he's minus nice. one to hit. So miasmid, hard to hit. There we go. From far away. So that's it for psychic. Yep. Which are cannons from him at the Ravager, and then the two flamers into the Cablite Warriors. Uh oh! Seven hits from the flamers onto the Cablites. Threes to wound at minus. Uh, minus one. Minus one? Two cool! Damage. Hooray! So I get six up saves at least. Six up saves! Nope, four of them, and the two damage a pop. So sixes, and then. No, they're dead because they. They died. Get roasted. Psst, 
fizzled. And now butcher cannons into the uh, round. So 16 butcher cannon shots. Hitting on threes now because he is bracketed. Hitting on threes and he rerolls ones to hit. Yeah, it's at least at least you, when you miss on ones, you get to reroll. Oh, good conversion. There we go. <laughs> I'm needing threes to wound. Needing threes to wound. Good rolls. Good rolls. Look at that. Holy moly. That's 12? Did you fail four of them? Yeah. 12 go through. Needing fives. Come on, Mr. Ravager. No, Mr. Ravager's going to die. That is a dead Ravager. No feel, no pains for me. And does he explode? He does not. Oh, that's almost a six. <laughs> he just dies. Bloop. Dead. Ah, oh, sad, Mr. Ravager. Fun. Four. Four shots with his uh, Super Flema. Well, that's Bazinga. Painful. Well, that's painful than it could have been. Um, still full strength? Yep. Strength six? Yep. So four. Okay, AP what? Uh, minus one. Minus one. Okay, I'll just take it on his regular armor right now. So he needs fives because he's in cover. So first one, he takes a wound. Uh, does he save it? No. Second one, takes a wound. Does he save it? Yes. So there's two left. He's taken one wound. Third one, he doesn't save it. Does he save it with feel the pain? No. Nope. And then last one, so he's taken two wounds so far. Does he save it? No. Feel the pain. No. He's taken three wounds. Bloop. So then they just get the feel the pain from drugs, right? Uh, from power from pain. Just straight up. Six up, feel no pain, starting turn one. These cultists firing into the cabs. So I already measured. 2018. So hitting on fours, we're rolling ones for the deep print. Okay. So all these cultist shots into the... Oh my goodness. Damn. Good accurate volleys from the cultists. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Never, for, never before seen. <laughs> Hey, the demon prince is right next to him, so they want to make sure that yeah. they get some good uh, value out of their money. Into plane yeah, yeah. <laughs> They'll start developing weird diseases. Needing fives to save them. Oh, oh they oh. might live. Needing sixes. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> they lived. <laughs> Only red men. This blood drone here firing into the uh, the remaining um, scourge. Has it gone down another tier? Uh, he's on his final tier. Okay, so what's the strength now? Uh, four. Strength four. Still doesn't matter against me. No. <laughs> Unless I was T4. Um, oh, zero ones. Okay, a couple of misses there. But all these needing minus one, so fours, because they're in the cover. Yep. Come on, little guys. You should have killed him last turn. Will you get another turn to try? Yeah. We shall see. Ah, I got one. Ha <laughs> ha. One lives. <laughs> One lives. Hooray, that's all I need. Okay. So flames, uh, so we're giving death mortars and stuff like that into... Yes! He lives! Oh, just an inch. I'm so excited. So he's... Back. Yeah, oh yeah. Ha ha! That's okay. Well, unless he... Oh, he's well, you have other targets you can shoot at, so yeah. it's not a big... Uh, flame there. Um, the heavy slugger is going into those two guys. Okay. And the mortar. Going to go into. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, the heavy slugger into the cavalry. In the cabs. Okay, perfect. Two hits. Cool. One wound. Cool. Five. Minus one. Yeah, sixes. And sixes again. Ah. Uh, bloop. Dead. Mortar. Three. Three shots into the these guys. Yep. One hit. One hit. It hits on fives. One wound. One wound minus, minus two. Minus two. Okay. Well, D three damage. Oh no! Sorry, I get a six up. Sorry, but that's one damage. No. Nope. And then a six up. No. One of these guys dies. Bloop. Ah. And then the flamer into the plane for ten. Ouch! Jeez. Right eight. Yeah. Needing threes. Rerolling everything thanks to Mister Demon Prince nearby. And this is strength eight. Yep. So. My, yeah, so five is a nine, right? Yes. Hiya! And I only have seven wounds left. So he takes five so far. So he has two wounds remaining. Same thing as the last one. Yep. Cool. Heavy slugger. Into the cab light, needing fives. Zero ones. Mmm, thanks to the, uh, the demon prince nearby, keeping them efficient. One wound. Hooray! Needing a six. Yeah! Uh, he lived! 
<laughs> Mortar. Yeah, Mortar. Two, Two shots into the Helions. Both missed. And then the Flamer, 2d6. Five. Ah. Let's see if he can survive this. Oh. No, maybe not. <laughs> I need to pass four of these in order to survive. No, he's going to die. And even if it explodes, it doesn't matter. Goodbye, Void Raven, bummer! Let's blow a drone. He's going to charge into the Cowlites. Cow lights. Cool. I can't see you there, so... Six inches. Yeah, you can just touch the edge there if you want. The cultists are going to try and charge that lone sub Sabrite. So, two shots in rapid fire. Oh, he needs an 11 to get in. Oh, oh my god. So close. <laughs> <laughs> Tempting fate there, eh? Yeah. Okay, so we've got this charge over here to yep. be done. So he's got one attack. Mm -hmm. yep. Hits. Hits on fours, wounds on strength four, so three. Let me just double check. Wounded, and it did two damage at minus two, so I just get two feel no pains on one guy. Nope, I kill one. I do get three guys and a sergeant back, hitting on twos. Mm -hmm. And wounding on six, toughness seven? Yes. Sixes, rolling ones? No. No saves there. So one guy goes down. So he gets one more point for Death Beggett's life, which has actually netted him a crazy amount of points this game. Yeah. Because um, he got it early on. It's a fantastic one to get early on. And other than that, are you getting rid of any of your cards? Um, no. And to defend one. He also stopped me from defending one by killing my Ravager, so now we only have one and one, and I'm not OPSEC here, which means I get two cards. Um, nice, hi Marshall. Yeah, set up your stuff. That'd be cool. Send a picture too. I get hold the line. Oh my goodness, uh -oh. that's gonna be nigh impossible to do at this <laughs> time in the game. And secure objective six, which happens to be this one. So I can potentially get one point for that. Yep. Uh, hold the line, I'd have to kill both bloat drones, which I feel would be rather impossible. So let's see what I can do as we move in to turn five. I can still get a few points towards the end of the game, even though I don't have very few models left. Let's see what I do. So we're going to do uh, the one Scourge firing into the one uh, so bloat drone left. Come on, little buddy! D3 shots. Two. Uh, needing threes to hit. Hits once. Oh, no. Needs a six. six. Can do it. No, didn't even do anything. Okay. Whoops. He's gonna shoot his pistol. Hits and wounds. Oh yeah. Woohoo! Roll the one. That's right. Feel no pain. Yeah. Oh, take take that drone. And tuck it. Okay. These Helions are gonna open fire into um, the um, the cultists. One, two, three. Oh, the cultists. Four. Yeah, I only have four left. So needing threes. And then needing fours to win. So three saves on the cultists. Two shirts. I killed three. Blah, blah, blah. That's right, half the unit gone. Uh, the rapid fire rifle from him. Well, not the rapid fire anymore. Oh no, yeah, because that'll be the guy on top. Boop, boop. Two hits. One wound with the rifle. One more guy goes down. Pa plow! I've killed four so far, which is good. Yes. Good for a morale test for them. Um, and that is pretty much all I can do, I which means I'm going to charge the Nurglings with my uh, Helios. Okay. Are they going to go five? So they're going to jump in here. There! Jump in! Cool. And then I've got my Cabalite Warrior running in as well. Yep. Arg! Might as well. Cool. And with that, we're moving on to the assault. Phase. On attacks, they need twos to hit. Hiya! And they are strength four. So twos to hit. Yep. Uh, so all these saves. And they're all damage two. Eight. Yes. Eight saves. They're all damage uh -oh. two. You're gonna kill them here. I hope so. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> I do. Yeah. Okay, so the Nurglings are dead. No, no, disgustingly resilient from damage to weapons. And I'm gonna pile in. Nam 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 nam. Nam 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 nam. That's right. That is correct. I'm gonna hug cover like the cowards that we are. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
And with that, I do score objective six. Ha ha! That's one more Maelstrom. And I am going to get rid of defend objective one, because that one is pretty pointless at this point. With that, I get one more Maelstrom point, and we move on to bottom of turn five. As the bell tolls, the Death Guard and forces of Nurgle move in as Father Nurgle laughs and smiles. End of the movement phase. We've got they moved up, they moved up. This turn five. Uh, the Helions feel a little ganged up on as the Demon Prince gets closer and the Heralds. And then we have this one over here kind of getting close to, to kill the last of the Scourge. Okay, so Psychic Phase at all? Uh, or, yeah, uh, we'll yeah, just smite them to death. Yeah, smite, so... smite, smite, and then... Yeah, so him, he's going to smite. Yep. So D3 on the Helions. One. One. Boop, boop. Nope, one Helion dead. Ah, dead. Next smite. Uh, yep. Goes off. How many? One. one. Nope. The other smite. Mm, interesting. Uh, no. no. Okay. Okay, then. All right, then. Okay, then. Well, you know. Dun, da 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 dun, 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 dun. Dun, da 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 dun, 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 dun. Archon Skari. This is, this is the key here. Will he survive? Will he survive? Yes. Two wounds remaining. His shadow field is still active. All right. So, so let's see. Do flamer from that into yep. here. And the and Helions. Slugger. Into the one guy. guy left. And then the Mortar. Mortar. It's going to go into the Cavalite Warrior. Yep. Makes sense. So Slugger. Slugger into the one lone Cavalite Warrior. Yep. Two hits. And one wound. one wound on a six. He's okay. Flamer the Flamer. Bazern. Six. Into the Helions. No, uh, AP minus one. AP minus one. So needing fives. So they're in cover. And then sixes. So two die. Blah, blah. Aha! And the mortar. And the mortar into the cab lights for four of them. No, no hits. Oh, reroll. No rerolls. No. Okay, second Plague Crawler. Second one is going to do the same thing. Same target. Cool. Uh so Uh oh. Uh oh. Will this cab light survive? Heavy slugger. One. One hit from the slugger. One, One wound. wound on a six to save. And on a six for power from pain. No! The cab light falls down. Ah, oh, dead. Finally goes down. Oh no. The uh, hammer onto the Helion. If one Helion will he live? Seven, seven hits. Eh, I don't think he will. I think he's a dead Helion. I think he is a very dead Helion. Needing fives, unless I roll crazy. Oh, and all of these sixes. No, I've seen it happen before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not today. Okay, Helion's finally dead. That guy's gonna flame into him. Uh oh, come on. Seven again. I was hoping for less of a number than seven. Okay. Mm, let's just do it on the shadow fields. Why not? Um, <clears throat> shadow field. Come on, Scary. Don't fail me now. One, two, three, four, ha ha, five, six, seven, shadow fields. <laughs> now the butcher cannon. Two up in balls. Good old Scary making inball saves. Woohoo! He's up to seven made so far. Into the scourge. Five. Uh, strength four, so meaning threes, re rolling one. Four saves into the Scourge. Needing fours because he's a hug and cover. And can he save on double sixes? No, one, but he is now dead. The Scourge are no more. Last but not least, yep. Mr. Levy, which I believe he's closer here than there. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Butcher Cannons into the Archon. Yep. Okay, he's made seven so far. Here's my little tally. Let's see how many he makes this game. <laughs> Oh, I didn't do that mortar from that. Yeah, yet. go ahead. So the mortar. The mortar. Uh, one, one shot on yeah. fives. No, we're missed. <laughs> okay. Doesn't matter. Nope. Okay, uh, Levy Dread hitting on threes. We're rolling ones. Thanks to... Lord. The amazing stuff. Cool. That's um, 15, no. 13 hits. Needing twos to wound. 12 wounds. Okay, Mr. Archon Scari. <laughs> How well did we make your Shadowfield save in the Dark City? Mmm. He's okay. He's okay. He's okay. 
He's okay. He's okay. He's okay. Oh no! He failed it! So he made a grand total of 11 Shadowfield saves. <laughs> Sorry, 13 Shadowfield saves. Yeah. Awesome. So that's one. Okay, so he's. He has to still make all these. Yeah, minus one. Uh, so, but these are. Feel no pains. So he's dead. Because you're dead. <laughs> Blah, you killed him, giving you assassinate and slay the warlord. Yeah. The Shadowfield finally cracked over the crazy amount of shots. And then he's charging into the Cabalite Warriors. Arg! He gets one attack, though, because he's really wounded and whatnot. Super hurt. Super hurt. Nope, missed. <laughs> I get my attacks back. Hiya! And then eating sixes, rolling ones. No, sadly nothing. And with that, you gain Assassinate and Kingslayer. So you get Kingslayer, Assassinate, and Mission Critical Objective yep. 1. So you're getting... Three points this turn. Three extra points. And at the end of turn five, that is going to be us calling the game. So join us when we do the after action report. But the Nurgle has swept the Drukari from the board. And that is game. Woohoo! Uh, woo 18 points to the Death Guard. Yep. Eight points to the Drukari. Eight points for the Drukari. And we had to change clothes, of course, because that's how we roll. <laughs> I basically woke up and came in Exactly, we actually put it on pause And finished it in the morning Because yeah. it was getting really late yeah. So, turning point of the game um, Probably when I drew The Death Bigot's life card Right off the bat, like turn one Yeah, it was turn one Yeah, actually. it was crazy so, That card netted you like nine out of those 18 points yeah. For every seven models you killed Every turn, that's your turn and my turn You got a point And there was one turn when you got Two three, point, three, three points. points. You killed 21 models. Yeah. And you got three points. Ouch. That was crazy. There's no cap on it, too. No, so it if you play like a horde, you can just like. <laughs> against orcs or something? Or that'd be like... nuts on Maelstrom. Oh, yeah. You just keep going. Really neat. Um, my, my turning point was. Um, Failing to kill that second drone at the back there. Oh, yeah, him limping on with... Yeah, but it was crazy. There was some really crazy rolls. Like, the Incubi surviving the Leviathan that one turn. Yeah, that And was then that Nurgling crazy. surviving on the first turn. Yep. And then the Mandrakes failing their charge. And then the Mandrakes living Lip. through all those shots, like, rolling those sixes. It was just back and forth. Those were some crazy, cool, um, like, cinematic moments in the game. And it shows you, you can have a lot of fun uh, with the new... Uh, what do you think of the new missions? I actually enjoyed this one. Um, I like how you deploy first, and then the enemy deploys their army, and then you choose whether you go first or second. Mm -hmm. But if you choose to go first, the enemy has a chance to just say, "I'll," because if they deploy defensively, they're already in their minds. They're like, "Okay, I'm going second. And right. then if you make them go first, they're just like, "Uh oh." Yeah, you can make them go first, or but at the same time, the person who picks deployment zone gets to pick the better deployment exactly. zone, or where the objectives are, yeah. or things like that as well, which which changes a lot, and it just makes it a lot faster. Mm -hmm. You just put your army down, and then your opponent does, and you can see what your enemy is doing, and then you put your army down, which helps you... Uh, mitigate like an alpha strike exactly, and things yeah. like that as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed the bow report. Shane, thanks for coming down. Thank you. No problem. And after all, I am Skari and this is Shane. Signing off until next time. Skari and Shane, out. <laughs>